Okay, see this question now again based on a projectile motion. Two planes are inclined at angles alpha and beta with the horizontal and a particle is projected at right angle to the one plane from a point at a distance a from the point of intersection of the planes as shown in the figure. If the particle strikes to the other plane at right angle, find the time of flight. So uh, here we have got two inclined planes. This inclined plane is making alpha angle. This inclined plane is making beta angle with horizontal. A particle is projected perpendicular to this first incline and it flies and strikes the other uh, inclined plane such that its velocity over there is perpendicular to the second incline. It starts perpendicular, okay? It starts with 90 degree angle, flies and strikes the other inclined plane at 90 degree angle. So uh, we have to find the time of flight. So let's say that the initial velocity is u vector and the final velocity is v vector. So according to this geometry, since this angle is alpha, u vector will make alpha angle with vertical and v vector will make beta angle with vertical. Right, so let's draw them. So uh, u vector will make alpha angle with vertical and v vector will make beta angle with vertical. Now let's try something. So uh, we can use this equation v vector is equal to u vector plus g vector t. Final velocity vector, initial velocity vector and what is this? Vector of acceleration due to gravity. So I will draw my vector diagram according to this equation. So v vector is given by some of these two vectors. Okay. So let's draw the vectors. So let's say this is my u vector. Okay. And then since acceleration to gravity is downwards, so this will be my g vector. So g vector into t. Right u vector plus g vector t u vector plus g vector t should give me v vector so this will be my v vector so uh, this angle is alpha for u vector with the vertical and v vector is making angle beta that means this angle is alpha this angle is beta and this angle will be pi minus alpha minus beta now here we can apply Lamy's theorem. Okay. So this side divided by sine of this angle is equal to this side divided by sine of this angle. Okay. And I could also find V also very easily. I should write Lamy's theorem. So according to Lamy's theorem, uh, u by sine beta equal to v by sine alpha equal to gt by sine of pi minus alpha minus beta. So from here we can easily find v. v will be u sine alpha by sine beta. Okay. But the question is asking for uh, time of flight. So we will just write down. So u divided by sine beta will be gt divided by sine of pi minus alpha minus beta will be sine of alpha plus beta so i get time of flight will be u sine alpha plus beta by g sine beta that's it this is your answer